Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. Today I would like to return briefly to thermodynamics and introduce the fourth law. Many of you might say, hey wait a minute, I've never heard of the fourth law. I thought that there was only the zeroth, first, second and third laws as we discussed in these videos. Yet in 1961, Peter Landsberg advanced in his classic textbook on thermodynamics that the concept of intensive and extensive properties was so important to the study of thermodynamics that it should be considered as the fourth law. As I review what has happened in astrophysics, it is clear that many errors would have been avoided if scientists had simply come to understand the importance of Landsberg's proposition. In my view, the time has come to formally recognize the existence of the fourth law of thermodynamics. We first discussed intensive and extensive properties in this video. To recap, intensive properties are independent of the mass of a system. It does not matter how much of a substance we have when we define temperature. If we take an object at a given temperature and divide it in two, each of the new objects will still have the same temperature. As such, an intensive property is one which has the same value throughout a substance. Here are examples of intensive properties. Note that these include density and velocity. Conversely, extensive properties in thermodynamics are always related to the amount or mass of an object. As the mass of a system changes, so must any extensive property. Other than mass, volume is the most common extensive property, but there are many others as we can see here. Now the central aspect of extensive properties is that they must be additive. If you take two bricks for instance and add them together to make a larger brick, then the mass will increase in an additive fashion and so will the volume. That is why both mass and volume are extensive properties. It is also important to realize that if an extensive property is raised to a certain power in an equation, that the resulting property is no longer extensive. Remember, extensive properties must be additive. Certain properties like radius of a sphere of gaseous atoms for instance are neither extensive nor intensive. This fact is critically important when dealing with equations in astrophysics. It is volume that is an extensive property. When mass is divided by volume, it leads to an intensive property, namely density. Conversely, if you divide mass by radius, one does not obtain an extensive property or an intensive property. This is a central point and a fatal flaw in many equations in astronomy. At the same time, it is a reality of experimental measurements that intensive properties are usually measured in terms of extensive properties. For instance, temperature can be measured by examining the change in volume in a mercury thermometer. Volume is an extensive property, but the temperature being measured is intensive. Now we come to the heart of the matter. If you have an equation in physics, used to define an intensive property such as temperature on the left, then the terms on the right must also either be constant, intensive properties or extensive properties which in combination produce an intensive property. The rule was stated simply as follows. If one side of an equation is extensive or intensive, then so must be the other side. As an example, we can look at the ideal gas law for a simple monoatomic gas like helium. The ideal gas law can be expressed as PV equals nRT where P corresponds to pressure, V to volume, N to the number of moles of substance, R to the gas constant and T to temperature. Let us rewrite this equation in terms of temperature. In this rearranged equation, temperature is now on the left. It is an intensive property, a fact also recognized by the zeroth law. On the right, we now have pressure, also an intensive property, then volume, an extensive property, divided by R, a constant, and the number of moles, an extensive property. So now on the right, we have two extensive properties, volume and the number of moles. 
Let us change the number of moles and express them as the mass of the system divided by the molar mass of the gas. For our helium-based system, the molar mass corresponds to about 4 grams per mole. In this case, the mass of the system is now extensive, but the molar mass is a constant. Now, if we divide the universal gas constant by the molar mass, we actually get a new constant called the specific gas constant, R sub s. So now we are dealing with two extensive properties on the right, volume divided by mass and a constant, R sub s. But we know that the mass divided by the volume is equal to the density, which is intensive. Volume divided by mass is therefore also an intensive property, which is known as specific volume. So in the ideal gas law, temperature is an intensive property which is being defined in terms of pressure and specific volume, both of which are intensive properties. This is an important lesson. In physics, to check if an equation is correct, students are often taught to only check for dimensionality. If you have Kelvin on the left and you examine all of the units on the right, you have to end up with Kelvin on the right after cancellation. This is simple to do for the ideal gas law as we see here, but it is not sufficient. An equation can be correct relative to dimensionality, but incorrect in terms of the fourth law, and the point is absolutely critical in thermodynamics. Astrophysics has ignored the importance of intensive and extensive properties in many of their equations, and these ideas render much of astrophysics invalid. We already touched upon this in these two videos but soon I will give even more examples. For now, just remember, if you ignore thermodynamic principles, you are not doing science. Therefore, astrophysics will eventually be corrected. If you enjoyed the video today, support the channel with a like, and subscribe for more videos as we look more closely at the sun, the stars, and beyond. Comments are always welcome down below, and I'll see you soon on our next video.